We want to get to that tragedy out west. A deadly boat fire off California's Santa Cruz Island. Rescue crews are still searching for survivors as the death toll climbs from that devastating fire. Will Carr is at the Coast Guard station in Oxnard with the very latest. Good morning, Will. And Robin, the Coast Guard has been searching all morning. This is supposed to be a Labor Day adventure, but now the tragic reality is really setting in. We know at least eight people have died, and we're expecting that death toll to continue to jump throughout the course of the day. A frantic call for help from the captain of the Conception, the 75-foot diving boat with 39 people on board, fully engulfed in flames. The mayday call coming as 34 passengers remain trapped below deck with only one exit. Roger, are they locked inside the boat? Roger, can you get back on board and unlock the boat, uh, lock, unlock the doors so they can get off? The captain, the only one left above the flames, with no way to battle the blaze from his position. You don't have any firefighting gear at all? No, no fire extinguishers or anything? Five crew members, including the captain, jumped to safety, escaping in a dinghy to a boat anchored nearby. As Bob and his wife Shirley Hansen tried to help the frightened crew, they looked over and saw the conception in a blaze of fire, with small explosions happening every few minutes from what they believe were the dive tanks. While the surviving crew members got medical attention on shore, ah! family members of the missing gathered to comfort each other and wait for any sign of their loved ones. Very surreal at the moment. This morning, more than 24 hours later, divers are searching in difficult conditions, nearly 62 feet below the surface, with officials describing the wreckage as unstable as they struggle to recover the victims. The hope is that some of those passengers were able to jump into the water and swim to shore. The group was on a Labor Day diving excursion. They were sleeping in these bunk beds in cramped corners when the fire erupted. The boat had a bunk room similar to this. It's supposed to have a fire extinguisher, but it's tight quarters and difficult for a lot of people to escape during an emergency. We're told that among the victims, three passengers were celebrating birthdays, including a 17-year-old who was there with the teen's parents. The Coast Guard says at this point, everyone needs to be prepared for the worst case scenario. As more remains are found, the coroner will identify each victim by their DNA. We should point out that the boat was within regulations and the owner is cooperating with investigators. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.